What is going on, everybody? Your boy Mike back again with another piece of NBA news. And I hope you're taking this time to spend some time with your families and show your mom some extra love because it is Mother's Day today. But apart from that, we got some very, very fascinating news. And we get this news from time to time about various college athletes, but we don't typically get it for a player of the caliber of Zion Williamson. And that's the fact that according to this one report, Zion Williamson was accused of receiving impermissible benefits from Duke University. Now, we're going to get to the details of the benefits that Zion Williamson has received very soon. But in order for you to understand the scope of this story, we're going to have to go all the way back to the day that Zion Williamson got drafted. Now, before we get to that, guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you could receive future updates about when I drop content. If you happen not to do that, then I can't really force you, nor will I really know if you decide to watch this video without subscribing. But... It will be a nice thing for you to do. Aside from that, make sure you turn on my Twitch notifications and follow me on Twitch in the event that I get to run with another well-known NBA star like I ran with De'Aaron Fox the other night. Aside from that, cue the intro. So here's what you need to know about the entire Zion Williamson situation, and we're going to jump straight into it. So on, so about a year ago, when Zion was about to get drafted, and I cannot believe that this was about a year ago, because it seems just like yesterday. Around April 20th, 2019, five days after he had declared his intention to enter the NBA draft, Zion Williamson agreed to sign with a Florida-based marketing company called Prime Marketing Sports. Wow, what a name. What a very, very, very unique name. But literally a month and a half after signing the contract, Zion Williamson backpedaled and said he wished to terminate his contract because he felt that the fact that Prime Marketing Sports required that Zion sign with them for at least five years was unlawful. Zion Williamson would immediately turn around and sign with CAA, which is a much more well-known marketing agency that an athlete should sign with if they have no idea who to sign with, in my opinion, because otherwise you could have people like Prime Marketing Sports trying to take advantage of your situation. So in short, Prime Marketing Sports spooked Zion Williamson out of signing with them, and as a result, Zion Williamson sued to get out of his contract and immediately signed with CAA after. As a result, Prime Sports threatened to sue Zion Williamson for $100 million for terminating their deal early. But here's the thing that spooked Zion even more. He gives two reasons why he wants out of his contract with Prime Marketing Sports and why his contract was unlawful with Prime Marketing Sports. The first is that Prime Sports is not certified by the NBA Players Association or considered a registered agent in either Florida or North Carolina. The second is that the contract failed to include a line in bold capital letters that made it clear Williamson would lose his college eligibility if he signed. That is necessary under the Uniform Athletes Agents Act, which is supported by the NCAA. Well, with no light at the end of the tunnel, of course, if you're prime marketing sports, you need to squeeze Zion Williamson a little bit more to get what you want, I assume. So what they decided to do is literally almost a year later, because the information that I was telling you before was known to us as of June of 2019, the head of Prime Marketing Sports, a woman by the name of Gina Ford, decided to add a little bit more pressure to the former number one overall pick. And this is how she decided to do so. A few hours ago, Daniel Wallach, a lawyer that I believe is representing Prime Marketing Sports, released this statement in regards to Gina Ford. In the statement, Gina Ford makes several requests for admission in their lawsuit that Zion should admit that he received money, benefits, favors, or other things of value to attend Duke University. One of those things don't really make sense to me. But if we go through the requests, the first one says, admit that you knew that Sharonda Sampson, which is Zion Williamson's mom, demanded and received gifts and economic benefits from persons acting on behalf of Duke University directly and or indirectly to influence you to attend Duke University to play basketball. 
The next was that you knew that Lee Anderson demanded and received gifts, money, and or other benefits from persons acting on behalf of Duke University directly and or indirectly to influence you to attend Duke University to play basketball. If you don't know who Lee Anderson is, it's Zion Williamson's stepfather, who he has a phenomenal relationship with. The next is admit that you knew that Sharonda Sampson demanded and received gifts, money, and or other benefits from persons on behalf of Duke University directly and or indirectly to influence you to attend Duke University to play basketball. The eighth point is admit that you knew that Lee Anderson demanded and received gifts, money, and other three benefits from persons acting on behalf of Nike directly and or indirectly to influence you to attend Duke University to play basketball. So it's pretty much a bunch of list of things that are saying um, this happened to influence you to play basketball at Duke University. There's three more statements like this. Admit that you knew that Sharonda Sampson demanded and received gifts, money, and or other benefits from persons on behalf of Nike directly and or indirectly to influence you to attend Duke University to play basketball. Admit that before you became a student at Duke University, you knew that Lee Anderson demanded and received gifts, money, and or other benefits from persons acting on behalf of Adidas to influence you to wear Adidas shoes. So this is kind of like a conflict of interest because point nine says that his mother received benefits from Nike so Zion could play basketball at Duke. And then the very next statement was, admit that you receive benefits from Adidas so you can be influenced to play at Duke and wear Adidas' shoes. And then the final two statements is, admit that before you became a student at Duke University, you knew that your mother demanded and received gifts, money, contracts and or economic benefits from persons on behalf of adidas to influence you to wear adidas shoes and then the final statement admit that before you became a student at duke university you knew that your stepfather demanded and received gifts money and or other benefits from persons acting on behalf of adidas to influence you to attend a college that endorsed adidas shoes so there is a lot of conflict here a lot of things are conflicting over here we already know that incident when Zion Williamson's Nike shoe got damaged and he almost injured himself in a game against North Carolina. And there is an entire saga surrounding trying to sign Zion Williamson to a sneaker deal that completely fell through. And that's a whole video in of itself. So let me know in the comment section if you want us to cover that topic on this channel. Because it's a crazy, crazy story of how Adidas almost had Zion Williamson in the bag and then completely failed. And then, of course, we know that Zion would end up signing with Jordan. So... For the most part, these allegations do make sense. It's not like Zion ended up signing with Jordan and Jordan always knew they were going to get Zion. There was a point where everyone was trying to woo Zion and sign him to their sneaker brand. After all, who was the last NBA player coming out of the NBA draft that garnered as much interest and as market value as Zion Williamson? You want this guy to be the face of your sneaker brand because he is probably the most exciting prospect that we've seen. I hate saying this, but possibly the most hype I've ever seen around a player since maybe LeBron James. So I know why you might be watching this. You probably want me to tell you whether these allegations are true or not. Well, I can't tell you that, but I could tell you where this entire statement is coming from and why it's being done. And as a matter of fact, the lawyer that tweeted these out on behalf of the plaintiff, on behalf of his own client, actually gave us his thoughts, which... I think does a wonderful job in painting the picture for all of us. According to the lawyer, Daniel Wallach, he said, this is a legal Hail Mary to pressure Zion Williamson through Duke to settle this case and pay the agent millions. She is at a high risk of a SJ loss in North Carolina federal court based on a UAAA violation due to recent allegations and no longer has the advantage of the Florida forum. So pretty much this woman knows that there's probably zero to no chance that Zion Williamson is going to pay her millions for vi for him violating a contract that was already null and void because it was an illegal contract. And as a result, she's trying to do whatever she can, use all the information that she may have possibly known about Zion Williamson in order to squeeze some money out of Zion. And that is why these allegations were made. If you ask me, do I think the NCAA is going to open up an investigation on Zion or do I think that the NBA is going to suspend Zion? 
I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I really am unsure if the NCAA will open up an investigation as a result of this. It could or it could not. But if they did take some time to actually read the full story, I don't think that people should bother with this story. I don't think that the NCAA should actually try to look into it and try to get something out of Zion or do anything to Zion. For all you know, it's not like Zion Williamson had this crazy decorated career at Duke University. He came for one year. He was absolutely electrifying and incredible to watch, but it's not like he won any NCAA championship. I guess you could vacate his awards, you know, vacate the fact that he won consensus National College Player of the Year and the Carl Malone Award and the Wayman Tisdale Award, and you could vacate his awards. But Other than that, I really don't see the purpose in looking into this any further. But let me know what you guys think about this situation in the comment section down below. Do you think it's necessary to do some digging? Do you think that we should look into this a bit further? Do you think this is going to blow up into something bigger? Or do you think this is just a woman that's trying to make a Hail Mary just to get some money out of Zion? I personally think it's just a Hail Mary to make some money off of Zion. I'm your boy, The Flight Mike, and I'll catch you guys in our next upload.